Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. A telephone conversation took place today between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq Al Saeed of Oman. During the call, they exchanged good wishes on the occasion of the month of Ramadan, calling on Allah Almighty to bless the two countries and their brotherly people with more progress and prosperity and to the Arab and Islamic nations for their growth and prosperity. A telephone call was held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Moroccan monarch, His Majesty King Mohammed VI. During the call, good wishes were exchanged on the occasion of the blessed month of Ramadan, calling on Allah the Almighty to bless the two countries and their brotherly people with further progress and prosperity, and to the Arab and Islamic nations for their growth and prosperity. A telephone call was held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of Palestine, Mahmoud Abbas. During the call, congratulations and blessings were exchanged on the occasion of the blessed month of Ramadan, calling on Allah the Almighty to bless the two countries and their brotherly people with further progress and prosperity, and to the Arab and Islamic nations for their growth and prosperity. They also reviewed the distinguished relations between Bahrain and Palestine. A telephone call was held between, the, between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of Iraq, Barham Saleh. During the call, congratulations and blessings were exchanged on the occasion of the blessed month of Ramadan, calling on Allah the Almighty to bless the two countries and their brotherly people with further progress and prosperity, and to the Arab and Islamic nations for their growth and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held an iftar banquet at Al Safriya Palace yesterday on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan. In the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, also present were senior royal family members who expressed good wishes to His Majesty the King on the occasion of the holy month and wished His Majesty abundant health and happiness and many happy returns for the kingdom and its people. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation for their sincere sentiments and also congratulations congratulated the people and residents of Bahrain on the occasion. His Majesty the King also extended congratulations to the loyal people of Bahrain and expatriate communities living in the kingdom on the occasion, wishing Bahrain as well as the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns and further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Al Sakhir Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports First Deputy Chairman, General Sports Authority President and Bahrain Olympic Committee President, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and Royal Court Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Council of Representative Speaker, Shura Council Chairman 
chairman, their deputies, His Majesty the King's advisors, Supreme Judicial Council vice chairman and the Court of Cassation president, Constitutional Court president, the Public Prosecutor, the SCIA president, and members and Sunni Endowments Council chairman who greeted His Majesty the King. They congratulated His Majesty the King on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan, wishing him good health and happiness, and Bahrain its loyal people for their security, stability, progress, and prosperity under his wise leadership. His Majesty the King exchanged congratulations with them and thanked them for their noble feelings, wishing the kingdom and its loyal people further progress and prosperity. He praised His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's dedicated efforts to further national development, progress, and prosperity, lauding his leadership of Team Bahrain during the pandemic, which enabled the kingdom to confront all challenges with a one team spirit. His Majesty the King said that the current health situation in Bahrain is stable and is witnessing remarkable progress in this field lauding all medical staff and supporting bodies for their good efforts over the past period. He praised the sincere efforts of the Representatives Council Speaker and the Shura Council Chairman and their members in serving the country and citizens, consolidating the foundations of the democratic process, defending the nation's supreme interests and working to achieve the aspirations of citizens. He lauded the dedicated work of the heads of judicial bodies in the service and development of the Bahraini judiciary to achieve justice and preserve rights and freedoms and enhance community security and stability. He expressed his appreciation for the important role played by the SCIA president and members in serving Islam, spreading its teachings and raising awareness of its principles based on moderation, rejection of extremism and fanat fanaticism, and calling for adherence to vi virtuous morals and promoting the values of brotherhood, solidarity, compassion and cooperation among all. His Majesty also commended the efforts of the National Audit Office president and cadres noting their outstanding performance and the achievements they made within the context of preserving public money. He highlighted the efforts exerted by the Sunni and Jafari Endowments Council in taking care of the affairs of the places of worship, preparing imams and preachers to spread a culture of tolerance, coexistence and brotherhood, and directing religious discourse to enhance the values of unity and national belonging. His Majesty stressed that the executive, legislative and judicial branches represent the solid foundations for the process of development and modernization that Bahrain is witnessing in all fields, adding that their cooperation and the efforts of the people of Bahrain are a motive for more cooperation and solidarity. His Majesty the King praised the level of constructive cooperation and fruitful coordination between the executive and legislative branches of governments to achieve the goals of the Comprehensive Development March. He commended the efforts and contributions of the loyal people of Bahrain in the March of National Development and Progress, hailing their dedication to serve their country and enhance its standing among nations and people. His Majesty said that Bahrain has a long history as a homeland that embraces everyone and believes in communication and spreading the values of love and peace, which are the well-known customs of the people of Bahrain. His Majesty also said that Bahrain has good relations with all countries of the world based on its policy stemming from the values of its people, adding that Bahrain is moving steadily towards further development and progress through the solidarity of its people and their endeavors to build on the achievements and gains made across all fields. The Council of Representatives Speaker Fawzia Zainal affirmed that the royal directives of His Majesty the King are the basis of national action through the Kingdom's ability with the solidarity and cooperation of all to overcome all challenges and intensify work and achievements. She said that the national efforts undertaken by the legislative authority in cooperation with the government are in the interest of serving the country and citizens and achieving the aspirations of all, supporting the achievements of the Comprehensive Development March and promoting the democratic approach, the principles and values of human rights and peaceful coexistence in a state of law and institutions. Zainal expressed pride in the national achievements, creating qualitative opportunities and addressing challenges through a consensual national vision aimed at benefiting the country's present and future through constitutional, legal and civilized practices.
The Shura Council Chairman Ali Al Saleh affirmed that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's sound visions, aspirations, and great ambitions are at the core of the national achievements and of the comprehensive development of Bahrain. Al Saleh praised His Majesty the King's keenness to receive members of the legislative authority on various occasions. He said that Ramadan has come while Bahrain is emerging from the pandemic and life is going back to normal thanks to His Majesty the King's directives and efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He noted that the legislative of authority is guided by His Majesty's directives for the sustainability of the Kingdom's growth and prosperity and is working to consolidate and strengthen cooperation with the government, praising the joint work and integration between the legislative and executive authorities. The Shura Council held its weekly session, presided over by its chairman Ali Al Saleh. The council discussed and approved a draft law on the implementation of the provisions of the agreement between the government of Bahrain and United Nations Development Programme. The session also discussed and approved two reports regarding the audited financial statements of the Shura Council for the fiscal year, ending on December 31, 2020, which included the committee's recommendation to approve the financial statements for the year 2020 and 2021. The personal representative of His Majesty the King and the President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, deputized the Special Envoy for Climate Affairs and the Chief Executive of the SCE, Dr. Mohammed bin Mubarak bin Dana, to attend the activities of the 24th virtual meeting of their Highnesses and Ministers of Environment Affairs in the GCC. Dr. bin Dana stressed the importance of such meetings, which contribute to advancing the process of joint Gulf environment action towards achieving sustainable development goals in the region. The meeting had discussed many topics and plans related to the implementation of decisions regarding the Memorandum of General Secretariat on the environmental trends of the GCC and the non-tariff restrictions related to the environment, in addition to focusing on the strategic plan of the Committee of Ministers of Environment, the Gulf Environmental Portal and the reality of Gulf cooperation with the United Nations Environment Programme. The meeting also discussed the Memorandum of the General Secretariat on the United Nations Framework Convention on climate change and international cooperation with Jordan, Morocco, Pakistan and the European Union. The meeting then discussed the initiatives of the G20, the proposal of the Kingdom of Bahrain on reducing plastic pollution and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to host the conference of the parties of the United Nations Convention to combat desertification. The ministerial uh, meeting for the GCC for, for the ministers of environment, it's putting the plan for, for next year. It's going to be looking at uh, the, the conventions, international conventions, and how are we going to cooperate uh, to tackle uh, different political issues at these conventions. Also, the, the multilateral relations between the GCC and um, some of the uh, neighboring and uh, front countries, like the Korean and, and, and the European Union. Um, our focus will be um, this year, I think, on the air quality and tackling the plastic pollutions, which is in line with the United Nations focus.